Hey everyone, Tevin here with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. In the last episode, we made our way through Eterna Forest and made our way over to um, Eterna City. And now we're going to make our way to the gym over here and try to defeat Gym Leader Gardenia, the master of vivid plant Pokemon. Also, towards the end of the last video, I finally got the names right for my Pokemon, so now they're all situated. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Actually, that's what I said to the some boy who zipped in here earlier, too. The gym leader guy in here is a user of grass-type Pokemon. It should be obvious, but grass-type Pokemon really hate fire. Oh, wait a sec, I should tell you about the gym itself first. You can't challenge a gym leader until you find and beat all the gym trainers who have hidden themselves. It's a bit challenging, but just think of it as good training and go for it. No problem. And we actually have Gardenia out in front to greet us. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they beat all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, challenger. No problem. I like to take out all the gym. Ooh, I like to take out all the challengers anyway before I even get there. And to save time, I'm probably going to stick to what I did over towards the end of the last video, to where I will go through here and battle all the trainers in a sped up montage just so I can keep more time in these videos so you guys can actually get more content shown into it. So I'll go ahead and speed this up once I find my first trainer. Oh, here she is. Alright, cool. So now that we have defeated all four gym, her fault, like, uh, gym trainers in here, now we can actually challenge Gardenia. And I didn't really take any damage from that, so let's go ahead and actually just go for it. You kept me waiting. I'm returning to City's gym leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Alright, Gardenia. I'd say probably design-wise, she's probably my favorite Sinnoh gym leader. That and who, who does not like a redhead? I'm gonna send out Cherry. Okay, so yeah, this is probably gonna be another clean sweep. I'm gonna try not to use Ace at all, and I'll probably just have Robin take care of everything. Oh, I'm still poisoned. I forgot about that. Oh well, it'll be a nice little handicap for her. That way she actually has- she can do some damage to me, since no one else has been able to. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. One out Turtwig, one Dan. And I think her last Pokemon, if memory is right, should be Rose Raid. I think it's a Rose Raid. That's what it was in the anime. I think that's what it was in the original. You got a Roselia. Ooh, maybe it is Roselia. I want to stick with Rose Raid as my guess. Yes, I was right. No, don't switch. It's not the end yet. Might as well be Gardenia. Let's see, it's level 20. Okay, I'm just one level ahead, so it won't be that overmatched. She might outspeed. Oh no, she doesn't outspeed me. Ooh! Ooh. Oh, she had a berry on her. Was it an orange berry? Oh, it's citrus berry. I think he's pedal blizzard. Well, that's not going to be that effective against me, but that poison coupled on top of it will deal me into the. Okay, almost to the red, but I should be able to finish it off now. 
Are you saying something? You think you have me cornered? I, I didn't say anything, it's your words, but if you feel like you're in a corner, chances are you're probably in the corner. And with that, that is it for a Rose Raid, so we kind of made short work of her compared to how, you know, Rourke ended up the first time around, but that was because I was a little cocky, I decided not to prepare, and I have corrected that issue heavily and made it so that I only had to use this one Pokemon for this whole entire gym. And with that, we have Gym Leader Gardenia. Amazing, you're very good, aren't you? She's such a, like, a good sport about it, too. She's so happy that she lost. I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? Not really. I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. And we get our second badge. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but no, you can't shine your badges in this, unfortunately. They just, they just stay nice and pristine. You don't even have to take effort in caring for them, so that's, that's disappointing. So yeah, we got the Forest Badge. With the Forest Badge, we can use the hidden move Cut uh, available on our Pokets as a hidden move. And now that you have two Gym Badges, all Pokemon you receive in trades will obey you up to level 30. I've also got something else for you. These are a gift from me. We obtained stickers for Gardenia. I'll probably use that to decorate uh, Striker's Ball. And what is this TM? Grass Knot. Ugh. I really don't like Grass Knot. As you can see, even though we have access to the hidden move cut, we don't have it unlocked yet in our Poketch yet. Ooh, that also reminds me of something else. Uh, if you go to the Pokemon Center, because I did this off screen, because I kind of want to go there anyway just to heal up. This is the bike shop, not the Pokemon Center, but I guess I'll stop in here while I'm here. Uh. It doesn't look like the main person we need to talk to is actually to get a bike is here, but what do you say, kid? The manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned yet. I wonder if something else? Okay, we'll actually head there real quick next then, since we have time in this video to actually handle that. Uh, as I was saying, though, if we go to the Pokemon Center, and we talk to this lady over here, she gives us a, um, app, a Pokedex app that lets us check the friendship level of our Pokemon which I have no idea how it actually tells me, so it's kind of useless, not gonna lie. Also figured out when you close and reopen the game, the Pokedex disappears until you reopen it. Wait here, let me go ahead and show you that app. So now we have... coming up soon. Now we got this app, so it's supposed to tell us how friendly they are to us, but I, I don't I don't see anything. Especially not even like on my two longest Pokemon that I've had, so yeah, I'm not really sure how that's supposed to help. But anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and move on and go to the Team Galactic building that they mentioned. Cynthia! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello Alan. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. Kinda understating it there, pal. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like that while you're traveling with your Pokédex. Try using these, they should help you on your way. And we obtain TM93, which is... Cut! Okay! Cut in the Hidden Moves app allows you to chop down small trees blocking your way. Remember, you can use the Hidden Move Cut from your Poketch in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. And that's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Goodbye, Cynthia. I'll see you again soon. Alright, uh, well, check this. This is the Team Galactic Eternal Building. We want your Pokemon. They just flat out say it. They just want it. Alright, let's go ahead and use Cut on here now, and a wild Bidoof helped us. I swear, this is why I chose Bidoof first of all, just because I wasn't sure if we we're going to have to use, like, HMs on us, and primarily Bidoof was always used as an HM slave back in the day, but I like how they completely got rid of it. Team Galactic isn't interested in the world, our gaze is beyond the stars. Welcome to Team Galactic, are you here to donate your Pokemon? What, you're not? Then kindly get off our property. 
do you have to bring the pain like do we have to bring the pain like we did to the cycle shop manager you guys can try you're not going to succeed it looks like we want to have a little double battle here since they're blocking our way we gather pokemon from astonishing undertaking for an astonishing undertaking your meddling won't be tolerated sorry dearie team galactic doesn't accept children as members i mean you probably should because we we get things done at least when you're children in a Pokemon game, you get things done. You're challenged by two Team Galactic Grunts. They don't have names. They want to send out a Wurmple and a Zubat. Ah, oh, I feel underestimated right now. I just took out a whole gym with just Robin. So your two little things aren't going to help me. And off screen, I did put Bullet Seed onto Striker, so that would come in handy. Let's go ahead and use Stun Spore on the Zubat, just because I don't want it to confuse me if it gets the chance. You know Robin's gonna one-shot all these Pokemon. Probably should give her a rest and switch out to, I think, the Usopp would be good. Because I haven't used him in a bit, and probably getting a little lazy, not actually getting any piece of the action. And never mind then, I guess I'm not going to use Usopp since Robin can't be switched out anymore. Well, actually, I can just switch out Striker because they're not going to be that much useful in this. So let's go ahead and attack the Cascoon. And let's switch out for... Huh. Nope. I'm going to switch out for Usopp. I was debating whether not to use Nami just because I don't ever really use her. Mostly because I'm still iffy if I want to use her on the team. And that's mainly why I haven't been, like, uh, going back and forth to should I use her or should I not? I didn't use Buiza before, but like I said before, I have Usa, which is a normal water type, so why just have the pure water type? Faint? Uh, no, I don't like that move. You can, you can forget that. Maybe you want to use Moon Look on Pooh. You're just, you're just screwing yourself here. You're digging your, your grave very deep here, pal. Why would you want to keep both of these guys in the fight against you? Uh, let's go ahead and use Headbutt. Unfortunately, I can't use Yawn on this Zubat just because you can only have one status afflicted onto it at a time. So unless someone were to cure that paralysis, Yawn's gonna do nothing. But not like it matters, that's it for them anyway. Oh, never mind, you just have a Gladi now. Oh, poor Kitty's gonna get murdered. Go ahead and use that, and let's use Headbutt. Oh, you actually, who are you gonna fake out? Just Robin? Okay. Well, Usopp can still attack you, and finish you off completely. So good! I wasn't too worried. I was a little worried. Worried that none of them were going to be able to attack. But with that, both Team Galactic Grunts are defeated. I feel like I got meddled with. But, dearie, you're just a kid! Yeah! Funny how things work out that way, huh? Uh, get out my way, please. And, ooh, was there anything in this trash can? Trash can is empty. What do you guys have to say? Our objectives are incredible. Too incredible for me to understand. I'll fight blindly to defend them and your intrusion won't be forgiven. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I guess this was an optional fight I didn't really have to do, but all experience is good experience. Oh, I still have Robin out in front. I should probably switch her out, but... They just happen to keep using Pokemon that I'm going to be super effective against. So, it works out and it doesn't work out at the same time. I mean, for the most part, everyone's gonna get experience. It's not like I'm gonna have Strike to do much damage against these guys anyway at the moment. Until I find a way to actually, like, boost up um, our bond. Oh, I should have switched you out. Oh, uh, it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Let's go ahead and use Wing Attack. It's not gonna be effective on it at all, but it's enough to knock it out. Strike is getting really close to my level up. What was I fighting for again? You don't know, you're just blindly following them. Alright, let me go ahead and switch them out real quick. Uh... Have a boost up out in front. Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. That's nice. Let's see how good this Pokemon is. I stole it from some weak trainer. If you stole a Pokemon from a weak trainer, would it that not indicate that the Pokemon itself is probably weak too, considering that you got it from a weak trainer? It's a Silcoon, that's probably why. Why is that the only one you have with you? 
I might not bug type Pokemon a lot, but some of them are actually pretty good. It would be interesting to do like a bug type gym leader run where you just solely use bug type Pokemon to actually complete the whole game. And that's something I probably should have did too, a gym leader challenge. Just choose a type and then just roll with it. Cause I'm I'm pretty sure Pokemon Home is compatible with this game too, so it wouldn't be hard just to move some Pokemon in to this game so you have enough to make a full team of unique bug type Pokemon. But uh that's something I'll probably do on my own. Um That might be a good side project to do. Maybe as like a little bonus video, see how far I can get with like bug type Pokemon only. Or some other type, it doesn't necessarily have to be bug type. I'm just spouting out bug types because that was what I saw at the time. Why thank you, we love it when people come to us to donate their Pokemon. I'm sorry, I saw, I'm silent for a moment because I was about to say what I normally say, but I should tone down on the aggressive language, so I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll keep quiet on that one. And just say, nah, nah, homie. I ain't here to donate Pokemon. I'm here to knock you out. Let's go get these roll out. Because I'm gonna go ahead and go on a limb and say her next Pokemon is probably a Zubat. So me sticking in with roll out is just gonna be super effective against that coming in. Or if she takes out a ooh, a Silcoon, it'll still be super effective. Yep, exactly. So let's just stay in and we'll have Rollout finish it up for us. Easy money. Still can't get over how nice this backdrop looks for whenever we fight Team Galactic. Although it does have me worried, like, where the heck am I going when we start this fight? Because why is the office suddenly gone and now in some pseudo outer space looking background? Well, I, I was actually right on both halves with my guess, but still, that that wasn't too hard. You kind of get used to it after a while. There's a, like a very limited move pool or selection Pokemon pool that they have for grunts when you actually fight in these games. What do you think you're doing? I'm, I'm winning. That's what I'm doing. I can talk to you. Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what's going on. Same. I feel that way sometimes, too. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is all for the new world order that our boss will be. Okay, someone new finally, a scientist. You are challenged by scientist Trayvon. Trevon, however you pronounce it. You want to sound like a dad, bro. So he's finally someone different, but he's still part of Team Galactic since we still got the Team Galactic backdrop. I don't think I have any dark type moves on you, I don't. Uh, let's use Yawn. Hopefully you don't have Synchronize and you don't make me go to sleep afterwards. Are you, oh, he disabled Yawn, that's fine, I don't need to use it again, it's done its job. Now let's go ahead and use Headbutt. And come, I think the end of this turn, he'll fall asleep, oh, never mind, <laughs> he doesn't need to fall asleep because he's knocked out. Oh, and Nami's getting close to leveling up. But that's it for Scientist Trayvon. This won't go unpunished. Don't look at me. You already lost. Go away. Alright, let's see what's upstairs. Oh, another Team Galactic Commander. Uh, ooh. <laughs> My Pokemon are perfectly fine. Uh, I don't really need to do anything. So, let us continue. I got this, sir. Leave it to me. Uh, did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Oh, okay, we just go straight to it. Uh, is this Jupiter? Yes, this is Commander Jupiter. Does he want to send out Zubat? Wow, very good up there. Oh, wait. Is Jupiter the one that has the skunk tank? Oh, I think she is. Well, actually, at this point, she'll just be a skunky. Let's go ahead and use Rollout. Can you avoid the attack? Boom. Using Mean Look isn't in your best interest, Jupiter. Oh, I just realized. <laughs> There's actually planets in the background now when we fight the commanders. I wonder if that happened when we went against Mars. I wasn't really paying attention. Probably because the battle went by really quickly, so I didn't even have a chance to notice. 
But that is it. Oh, never mind. I thought that was it for Zubat. But ha! I avoided you, Super Sonic. How insolent. Take a bite of this, child. Uh, take a bite of this rock. That's not over here. Let's not do that again. Anyway, Zubat's defeated. And let's move on to our next Pokemon, which I'm probably certain is uh, Skunky. And Nami leveled up. I think, like, another five more Oh, it is Skunk Tank. Hmm. Let's keep let's keep Usopp in here. Let's see him take his whole team. And of course you avoid the attack. He's gonna use Snarl. Ooh, that actually did decent damage. He was a critical hit, that's why I did decent damage. Oh, is my speed gonna fall from that? No more special attack, even worse. Uh let's use Yon. I want him to go to sleep. And I will allow myself to get hurt one more time. Oh, poison gas? That's the worst. Yeah, I'm gonna get poisoned. Well, at least you'll be asleep. I don't know what's better. Is like slowly dying from poison or just... just no, actually, no, it's obvious. Being a, being poisoned is worse. I don't, that was a dumb thing to ponder. Like, oh, I wonder what's worse, being poisoned or being put to sleep. Being, put, being poisoned, of course! I keep using snow. That's gonna be a dumb move. It's not gonna get crit on me again, so... Oh, it is when I make my special attack go down, but I still have my physical attack to... Keep me going. You should be falling asleep soon. Thank you. I was wondering when that was going to take effect. Uh, let's go ahead and use Headbutt once again. And now that you're not constantly attacking me. Ugh, really? Eating your citrus berry while you're asleep? Talk about fatty. Of course, I'm still getting hurt. Uh, I should probably use my Super Potion. Yeah. It's potion time. I only have the one, but I might as well use it. Super motion it is! Cool, Skunk is still asleep, so I can still keep on attacking it. Oh, this poison's probably just gonna be worse. But, I digress. Another two. Ooh! I could probably use Rollout, but, yeah. I don't want it to take the chance of it avoiding it while it's asleep for some reason. Good, one more. Oh god damn it. Gun tank woke up. Alright, it's fine. We good. Just one more headbutt will finish this match completely. And then we can go ahead and end off the video on that note. So let's go ahead, one more headbutt. And that should be it for Commander Jupiter. Oh, okay. Alright. Get in that last hit. It's fine. I still won. And Usopp levels up. Now we can start having Ace take part in the ma match at the end, because now he's they're starting to catch up to him. Losing to some child, being careless cost me too much. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay though, our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. And Mars is collecting enough energy from the Valley when works. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, you will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out Team Galactic's affair from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Clefairy back and it's all thanks to you, but that Team Galactic. They said Clefairy came from space, handed over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they're from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? Alright, so we'll have to do that in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And in the next episode, we'll cruise on over to the cycle shop and speak with the bike shop manager. So, until then, if you guys liked the video, give the video a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already, and to be notified when future videos are going to be released, remember to hit that bell icon. So, until then, I'll see you guys later. So, take care everyone.